Joint Terrorism Task Forces are very active, not just from an international terrorism perspective, but also a domestic terrorism perspective. So we actually have three Joint Terrorism Task Force squads um, focused on international terrorism, and then you know one specific squad here focused on domestic terrorism, and it works well. I mean, all of the uh, local and state police officers and detectives have the same clearances that the agents do. They sit side by side and um, the way we work it is if that agency has a terrorism matter occur in their uh, area of responsibility, that local or state agency, that local or state officer will work jointly with an FBI agent um, as a case agent on that case. So they all carry a pretty big caseload uh, and they work arm in arm with access to the same databases and the same systems. We've had some national terrorists. Um, Najib Bulazazi was a very well publicized uh, counterterrorism investigation. Zazi was definitely somebody that was trained internationally uh, and but bought into the philosophy really gaining access through the internet um, to radicals that were overseas. And then he decided to act on that and travel abroad get some of his training and then come back here. He was planning and facilitating uh, out of this area of responsibility, but his target was New York City. We've had other uh, recent um, concerns on the counterterrorism side as well. So our Joint Terrorism Task Forces are very active, not just from an international terrorism perspective, but also a domestic terrorism perspective.